for real though, I'm gonna show y'all how to draw this avocado today. Digitally, if you appropriate, I'm gonna put the reference photo in the description. So I'm changing the background color from white because like having a white background is like having a brand new sketchbook. It's intimidating, literally. So I'm actually using a soft airbrush to fill in the color. So I'm shaping out the avocado. Whatever shape you see, I'll go off of what I see. So it kind of looked like a little egg. So don't be afraid to use the color drop. Like I know in the beginning, everybody's, they throwing out, oh, you have to know color theory. You have to know this and you have to know that. Like, bro, I'm just a beginner. You don't have to be perfect. Whatever shapes you see, like you could be like, oh, this this avocado see look, look like a little basketball in the middle. Like imagine other things, other shapes, stuff around you. That's what I be doing. Even though it's important to know all those things, but like if you just start now, don't beat yourself up about what you don't know. So I'm using a color drop too. Like obviously they have have it in an app for a reason I'm the uh, color picker sometimes i don't use the colors all the time like if i feel like i wanted a little darker i'll go to the colors and choose a color that's darker because the reference do be based off the lighting whoever took this photo that we going off of their lighting you can also take your own reference photos too so don't be scared to do that. That picture where I have the arm like holding a popsicle, I was looking up other arms and then I was like, bro, I'm about to just take a picture of my own damn arm. Like, come on. It's much easier for me to do that. I'm just adding the shadow under the seat. So you just keep going around. So you got the whole world. In the hand. I have a soft airbrush to blend. This is important. I have a soft airbrush to blend. Like for some odd reason, the other brushes don't be blending right. The ones that say blend. So I use a soft airbrush to blend. It's smooth. Smooth operator. Well, I'll probably be singing throughout this whole damn thing. And it's only the beginning. I'm going to try to stop though. So you just smoothing that out. Smooth it out. Get the colors around the edge. So I actually, I'm trying to mimic that like crusty little texture that's hanging out the side. So you could choose whatever brushes that, like I said, look like whatever, that, whatever shape that you're trying to get. And then I'm doing my, the shadow, the shadow kind of look black under there. So I'm choosing like a, a brownish, you don't want to go too black though, but I'm choosing, choosing a brownish type of color to just outline that whole avocado. I hope y'all doing all right. I hope everybody, if y'all watching this, I hope everybody doing all right. You hear me? Bro, I've been on um TikTok or whatever, like just putting my videos up. But you know, sometimes you get caught up scrolling on TikTok or whatever. And okay, this is important. Hold on. So now I'm using a hard brush to shape out the avocado you see that like giving it that crisp that crispy look looking like something i say i don't have to be too perfect but like certain stuff do because the the avocado in the reference it's a smooth curve and then this another tip too if you want to use other brushes like don't be afraid to play around with these brushes so i'm using a studio pen for inking to finish around the edge okay then i changed the color i have to change the color just to see what i miss like when i'm editing and stuff right like i can't be in one spot like i have to move around in order to figure out what i'm missing like change of envir environment type of thing change the environment so now i'm using a liquefied tool so to get that shape that's why i said don't worry about if it's too perfect or not so i'm using a liquefied tool you could play with the pressures these are my settings you could put the pressure, the distortion, the momentum, and the size in order to like get whatever you need to get, whatever shape that you're going for. Which we're going for the avocado shape, obviously. But so I'm using that liquefied tool to shape the, the avocado. So I like moved it around a little bit and then finished liquefying it. <laughs> Y'all have fun doing this. I look at it like, okay, well, if I go somewhere, we going on a road trip or some shit. I don't have to pack up a whole bunch of paint and shit with me. Whatever. If you go on a flight, like you could just pull your laptop out. I mean, your iPad out and then do this instead of like taking all this stuff with you. Even though it's, it's good to do both, but mainly I've been doing this. Like I still have like a shitload of sketchbooks, but I prefer to do this. It's your preference. So I'm coloring like that dark green that I see on the outer edge of the avocado. And this is what I don't like because there's so many videos and stuff that I've seen. Like, okay, well, this type of art is not art. And this is not this. It's so many people like trying to create the damn narrative for other people's lives. Like, no, you like what you like. If you fucking like digital art, then do that. If you like both, do both. They try to make everything like you in competition when every everything else. Like if somebody like the vegans and the non-vegans is fucking, oh, you, you like meat or no, you, oh, you vegan? Like, bro, 
If I am, oh freaking well, that's my business. And that's the thing, because I don't judge nobody for like eating what they eat. But other people, I think it's like a mechanism, like they feeling like you better than them if you don't do that. Like, no, this is what I just prefer. And you do what you do. So then I'm taking a hard brush and I'm like carving out the edge of the avocado. I'm using that same color, color of the avocado so I can get that shape. We using a hard brush, then you trying to get that shape around it. See? And this is all is this is all on one layer where I actually use two um later on, but so far this is one layer. That's what I like too, because I'll kind of look at it like, okay, if I'm on a canvas or if I'm in a sketchbook, I only have one try. <laughs> Unless I'm skipping a page or I'm coloring over it or whatever, but I only have one try to get this done. As if it was like just one canvas. But if you're working on a huge project, you don't feel like dealing with all that, then yeah, definitely get layers. Get it crusty. Using the same color that's right by it. And then I'm gonna blend that in. Ta-da! I hope this helps somebody out there because this is completely out of my comfort zone. For real. For zone. But that's what I want to tell y'all. If you feel like you don't fit in, whether this on social media in real life just don't make people fit in with you make them want to do what you doing you get what i'm saying right here i'm taking this a brush this water brush i was trying to see if i could use that brush for the texture but i don't know i didn't really like it like that i was you see i'm turning around trying to see like okay let me see if that look kind of like it but i honestly didn't really like it like that but yeah make people fit in with you like you ain't got to try to fit in with everybody else because I've been back on social media for like a couple of months and now I'm like, bro, I'm tired of this shit already. <laughs> if y'all be on TikTok, the little period, I, period, uh, shit, I'm like, bro, hell to the not. Like, I can't, it'll make you feel like, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, people really like this shit, but don't dumb yourself down to fit in with other people. Or don't dim your light. Okay, so I'm using a soft airbrush. So I'm trying to get the crusty edge on the other side. Like, you see that little green stuff on there? I'm trying to do that all around. So yeah, don't try to... I know it's hard because it's like, damn, you see people blowing up doing this and doing that. But sometimes like, oh, well, maybe it's not your time or whatever like that. Because I used to be feeling like that. Like, how the fuck this person... Not even on a hate shit. It's just like, okay, this is what people like. Uh, this is what people... And it'd be like the dumbest shit. But then people is also preaching about how, damn, we don't have people in this generation that's um telling us this and telling us that uh, on some positive shit but y'all ignoring those people so don't worry about what everybody else saying just do you do what you do do what you do well wash my shoes hey nah. <laughs> okay so i'm went back to the shaping too so a lot of this stuff is kind of like repeating itself until you feel like it's the right art piece for you because i didn't spend like bro my my longest piece I spent like, let's see, I say like 60 hours because I spent like 60 hours because it was the piece that I did drawing myself. I think that is my longest piece. If it's not, I'll tell you, I'll let y'all know. So the soft brush, you go around the edge with the soft brush. But when you about to carve it out, you go around the edge with the hard brush. Do you hear me? The hard brush. When you want it crispy, 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 you go around with the hard brush, okay? blending a soft airbrush and that's the end of the video no i'm just playing <laughs> okay so i'm still trying to figure out these colors in here again i see a different a whole bunch of different colors in the photo so it's like a whole bunch of different greens y'all know how avocado looks so i'm getting the shadow underneath the avocado because the shadow is what make it like pop out like i ain't gonna lie when you don't add no shadow in in the beginning it'd be like damn like this shit look this shit don't feel like it's gonna be anything but you gotta see it through my boy just shading that in should i say shading or blending i might be saying both so i'm just blending that in yeah i'm gonna say blending if you do complete this avocado y'all could just send me like pictures to my dms or, yeah I'll, picture that's the only thing you can send me the one right now because tiktok you have to be friends to do it but it's gonna be my rookie's art world for now because i honestly still have my other instagram deactivated i'll probably do a story time why I still have it deactivated, but I'm gonna reactivate it soon. I don't know when yet, but y'all can send me pictures that y'all did it. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial, comment down below and let me know what else y'all wanna see me draw. So just going around using that hard brush with the color that's above it or below it, like 
either way you can you can do it from both ways because if i wanted to take the color from at the bottom like the the light brownish color i can use that too to create it but i'm just using a color above it to get that edge. okay it's looking good so far i ain't even gonna count but we want great we want excellent we want god did <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. We want that. Because I just seen that shit one time. Blend, 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 blend. Like, you don't have to be changing all the colors and stuff that I'm doing. Just strictly pick from the airdrop. I'm, I'm airdrop? What the hell? <laughs> strictly pick from the color drop that's how you know i be i be that's how much i be on my phone and my ipad just airdropping shit trying to do this thumbnails like just but i be on the go i'm talking about you can airdrop what the hell <laughs> Now, I went to this one uh, party, right? My son, well, his teammate family had invited us to their party. And then um, she had made some guacamole. I ain't never tasted no guacamole like this in my life. It was authentic, like onions in there, tomatoes, a jalapeno. I went home and made that myself, for real. It was it was really good. I play with the brushes. Like, even in the beginning, they're trying to make you seem like you need, get my brushes, buy these brushes. You could do this. Like, you could really learn to make that stuff yourself. If you have time. But sometimes it is like, okay, if they got a brush that I need real quick, I'm about to go grab this. But to start off, use the default brushes. It's fine. Like when you first get your iPad or something, you want to know how to do this, how to do that. And it's so much conflicting information out there. Like it's really crazy. The only difference I feel like it is like drawing on a sketchbook from the store versus like on an iPad is you only use in one tool every day. I actually like that. Even though you can use one tool in your sketchbook, but versus like having a whole bunch of markers and stuff in front of you. And the thing that drove me to like want to do digital art, bro, was when I found out that I had to get gesso for a painting. Like I have watched so many tutorials on how to paint, how to do this. Not one of them really say, oh, you have to get gesso in order to um, make the, the, the paint um, not go through the paper and stuff like that. So when I found out I needed gesso, like this was this year, I think, and I still have the jar of gesso. I went to go get it. But I was like, you know what, bro, I shouldn't have to, every five minutes they're telling me I need something. You need this, you need that. Everybody don't have money like that. They don't. So you you blocking your creativity because you think you need a whole bunch of money to do this, this and that. Like, no, you don't. Even though the iPad is pretty costly, but if I would prefer to get that, save up to get that, than to, okay, once I run out of this, I have to go buy this again. Once I run out of that, I have to go get this again. Like, no, bro, not today. So I'm just, you see, I'm filling in what I, what I see. So at the bottom, I see like this dark shadow underneath the avocado. Not the shadow on the bottom of the avocado, but underneath, on the avocado. So I'm just going around getting that. I met someone new last night and we kicked it. Okay, so I'm going around the edge with the studio pen. My, it look like it's shaking. That's probably, I'm, I be trying to use that steadiness from when I was tattooing. So I'm also erasing it, like it's repetitive. Erasing, doing this, erasing, doing that. Okay, this don't look right, fix this. You really gotta be patient with it though. Cause like I said, my longest one was like the hours, but it was over a, a time period of a few months from versus like when I first got the iPad. I'll probably show y'all some pictures like versus when I first got the iPad and I was trying to learn like what I needed to do. You can see like how my painting look mushy. So don't be trying to be perfect in the beginning, even though sometimes I be trying to be perfect in the beginning, but it'll hurt you in the long run for real. In the beginning, like no, like we still have plenty of mistakes to go. To put the highlights in. Shout out to the people that's watching me in India, Brazil, Russia. I have people watching me in Russia, Turkey, um, the United States, of course, you know, USA. US uh, <laughs> but India um Mexico if y'all watching this right now shout out to y'all the visionaries I said I was gonna name um my squad that name y'all that my supporters that the visionaries because if you doing this obviously you have some type of vision for yourself you see the avocado look like it's popping out a little bit is you we not there yet but it's doing a little something it's doing a little something. When I do change the brush, like you'll see, you'll see at the top, okay, if I'm sketching, I'm blending, like slow it down if you have to. And like I said in the beginning, don't let nobody knock you based on how you work. Everybody brain is different. So sketches is kind of like, it's complicated in a way. Like, yeah, I could do a sketch, but it's still like complicated in a way. The ones they be like, step one, draw this. Step two, do this. Step three, do that. 
Step four, you're done. Like, then you like, what the hell? That shit is confusing to me. But understand how your own brain works. Like, everybody's brain is different. I can just look at something and draw it. And if you like that, then you know what I'm talking about. I can't. Some people just splatter paint on their canvas and then turn it into something. Like, you have to understand how your mind works. Get off the tutorials. Not the, like, not this tutorial, but get off... Not even a tutorial, it's like watching so many videos. Cause I feel like I was like binge watching, okay, how to do this. And everybody have their own technique, whether they learned it in school, whether they did it in themselves. Like you have to learn what works best for you. Cause I really thought it was something wrong with damn, why I'm not sketching? What the hell? But other people is like, like if you go look at my old videos, I think under, I think when I drew Smino and I drew uh, Daniel Caesar, like people was really like, damn, you did that without no sketch and i'm like i didn't know what the hell it was talking about i was not taking myself serious blend 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 it in i'm using that layer to create the shadow that's under the avocado it's too dark right now but we're gonna lighten it up so i'm just blending it in until i can't blend it no more until it's like something there but it's not really there then i'm gonna shape out the edge to get it because it's not all the way over there so i'm shaping out the edge of the avocado if you see it right there you if you see you should be able to see the shadow that's under the avocado directly oh i use the liquify tool i use the liquify tool to drag it down like to drag down the the shadow and i'm blending it like downward it looks faded i'm blending with the soft airbrush i don't know why drake is in my head if you got my honey damn i forgot drake's song drake done changed over the music that he make now like my son like the leftless line what the hell i did not like this song probably because scorpio season coming you're mad <laughs> I must have just got a Scorpio vibe come over me. Would you run from me? Okay, so next, okay, like I said, I I would try to use the water, um, the water tool, but I chose not to. So I'm about to just try to sketch what I see on the avocado seed. So I'm going, and you see like the little veins and stuff is going which way, whichever way, kind of look like roots. So I'm just going along, following that, even though it's kind of blurry, like so. You can look up a, another avocado seed and like replicate that avocado seed instead of this one. Like, cause sometimes if you don't choose like a good reference photo, I feel like this is a good reference photo, but as you can see, like the light kind of reflecting off of the seed. So it's hard to see the whole seed, but I'm just going like as I go. And like I said, if you're a beginner, just do your best work possible. Just try your best. Whatever you see, how many you see. So I see they like overlapping. So try to mimic that. Even if you have to add some extra ones, like use your imagination. Even for this, every avocado seed is not the same. Just like us humans, the roots of the avocado veins, roots. And I'm using, I'm going back in on the side to blend that in. After I didn't shape it out, I'm blending it, blending that color in into the avocado seed. So I'm gonna keep doing that the whole the whole time with all of them. And then I'm using a color drop. Well, not the color drop. I'm using a color picker. I've been saying color drop this whole time. Color drop is when you're picking it from the circle. Like I'm using that same color that's around the avocado seed. It's looking good so far though. Super good. I think we on the right track. <laughs> we are on the right track to success. Okay, so I'm blending in that that edge right there that look nice though it's not a straight line like it's all over the place going back over that that shadow under the bottom just you see it's like a different a darker color right there so i'm trying to get get that too because just like if you have a canvas or if you had a canvas you know how if you have to paint different layers of acrylic on top of that painting like that's just how digital art is like you can't just put one layer of paint and then wow it's the digital art is done like no you have to lay down different foundations of the layers. Like put it somewhere on top if you want it darker. Like if you use one layer, it's not really dark. It's like you could see through it. If you use another layer, it's a little bit like it's it's okay. But if you use another layer, a third layer, then it's a little bit darker. So it's the same. And I actually like that because it's like it's not it's the same like formula. Because just like I was playing like GTA. <laughs> When I, that video, when I played GTA for the first time, I was like, damn, this shit really like you driving for real. Like it's, even though it's like a simulation, like it's like you really controlling the wheel of the car. Like even if you turn this way or turn that, it's not nothing stopping it. Like it's going like how, if you was really driving a real car. That's, technology is crazy. So I'm going back to the liquify tool and I'm about to use expand to make the avocado seed look like it's popping out. The expand tool. Y'all see that? That is so cool to me. Like, I ain't gonna lie, this stuff be like, it's kind of, it looked like an ASMR, not an ASMR, but it's satisfying. Making an avocado seed bigger. 
like it's popping out like that's this be so cool to me that's why i said don't rush your process and like learn all these different i was playing with the crystals the edge the pinch like i was playing with all these different techniques at the bottom under liquefy so that's how i learned most of the stuff so i'm blending on the bottom blending that in the bottom of the avocado i'm going back in under the avocado seed and like trying to get that that shadow underneath so some stuff you have to just like improvise so next i'm gonna add more skin of the avocado because that's what i see on the side it was more skin at the side and at the on the bottom and then like i said if y'all see me hopping around that's what i i like to do because i don't want to stay on one thing at one time because you want it to like all be coming together at the same time it should be in y'all head like okay you have to use a soft brush and a hard brush and all that like y'all should know now like this this one tutorial should be like you done took your drawing to the next level just knowing these two tips like just the hard and the soft brush not damn betsy lou brush from up the street <laughs> damn like that should be pissing me off like they be promoting so much shit to us it's it's ridiculous get this app and get that app like it was so many apps that they saying get i'm like bro i haven't even learned the first app like y'all want me to just hop on this app and that app then you watch videos on what app is the best app and like bro no i'm not doing all that it's it's really mind-boggling like seriously like no and i see why a lot of like elderly people be like okay no i'm gonna just stick with this one i don't want a credit card i don't want no debit card i'm, I'm gonna just use cash like i've been doing all my life okay so now i'm like blending in the two colors right here blending that in i might add video to this next time like in the top corner i might i'm not sure yet y'all gotta let me know what y'all want help me help you you know so gonna go in with the liquify tool to like just going in trying to fix it so it took me two hours and 30 minutes to complete this avocado i thought two hours would be too much but if it's not too much like y'all could let me know i go in depth like put the whole tutorial but i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope y'all enjoyed this avocado i will see you tomorrow.